Okay, my friends, exciting, exciting news. I do research, research only. I don't recommend do this or do that. I am not a doctor, I am a researcher. And I have been following the research on immunotherapy, and it doesn't work for everybody. Why? Why, if I give you a certain drug, you don't respond, but I give it to another guy, and he just gets better right away? What's that all about? Well, Yale University is trying to understand why it doesn't work for everyone. And what it is, is there's, there's biology and chemistry. That's all we have going on here. And the biology is your DNA and how things work in the construction of your body. And the chemistry is basically enzymes, because enzymes do the, the molecular business in your body that breaks things down instantly, thousands, millions of them a second. And you have to have all of this process going on to dump all your bad stuff out and take some new stuff in for every cell, for every minute of every day that you are living. You have to, and within five minutes, you're dead. Or so, something like that. <laughs> you know, and it's because you are not pushing these molecules through your body, pumping your heart, moving all of these products, and removing all of the bad products. Now, what does that job? It's chemistry. The chemistry is in the blood. As the blood passes by all the cells, it says, here's some good stuff, give me your bad stuff, see you later, have a nice day. Now, if it doesn't pass by, the guy says, hey, where's the guy taking out the trash? It's piling up over here. It's going to start eating through the walls here. We got toxins, man. You got to get this stuff out of here. So, well, the guy's not, nobody's coming by. He said, well, call him up. There's nobody there. I keep calling, nobody answers. The guy's dead. He says, he's dead. What are we going to do now? Well, we're in trouble. Now, that's the key of, of the bacteria not producing enzymes. That is what I have found in my research. Now, let's dig into what they're saying is happening in these DNA mutations and so forth. I think this is more of a response to not having the correct chemistry. And I could tell you how we could find out one way or the other very, very quickly if the correct chemistry is there. So let's dig into this. And again, I'm a researcher only. I'm not telling anybody to do anything whatsoever. Okay, anybody that's been with me for a while knows that I do extremely deep research on fossils, which have preserved in a special condition where they're 100% preserved, just like this goose. It didn't rot. They say, oh, that would have rotted. No, it doesn't necessarily rot. And the reason is, and I've discovered the reason, it's nucleophilic substitution. It only happens in certain conditions. And you have to have a hot saltwater flood for a long duration of time to have this happen. And, uh, and this particular area that I'm in, that occurred. Now, I can explain later how all that happened. But here's what we're looking at when we're looking into how our bodies protect ourselves. This Every layer in your body has a membrane on it, every single layer. So you have your skin, then you have your membranes on your, your eyeballs, on your, 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 everything in your body. All your organs have membranes. Now, underneath the organ, the membrane, right in this layer right here, this one exact layer, is where the enzymes flow. It's called, a, 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 it's called the interstitial fluid highway. It's a fluid-filled highway. Here it is right here. So you've got your tissue here, which is this. This is a blow-up of this. This is the little balls and stuff that makes your skin float around and come back. They're anchored. See them here? Anchors. All right. These, this layer right here, this white layer, is where all of those, these enzymes go. And these are the attackers that attack things that are trying to attack you. But the enzymes are only created by bacteria. I want to see a bacteria study done to see who is getting better and who isn't getting better and if it has anything to do with what bacteria are in their body. Because the bacteria that create the enzymes, enzymes do the chemistry. And that's what I think I have found is that if you don't have the enzymes, you don't have the bacteria. That's why probiotics seem to be helpful and if fecal matter transplants are that's unbelievable what they're finding they do for you because now you have somebody else's 
bacteria that's living in you that is creating the enzymes. That's what they found. That's research only, not telling anybody to do anything. But they're really looking into that a little bit, I hope. I don't see them doing the research they should be doing, I don't think, in my mind. Because I would be taking full bacterial studies, full body bacterial studies of every single person that is sick versus healthy people. You line them up together and all the healthy people at some point or other are going to have characteristics that are pretty similar. And all the sick people, the ones that have diabetes, may have exactly, almost exactly the same characteristics. The ones that have heart disease, boom, boom, boom. The ones that have this or that, whatever it is. Because the chemistry that regulates those functions is a product of bacteria. It is, I, I think they said they're Last count, they think they at least 90,000, something like that, different bacteria, species. And every one of them is a factory that just produces back enzymes. That's what they do. Okay, so we know not everybody gets well, and they want to know why. So they're doing a phase two study, 24 patients, endometrial cancer, the immunotherapy drug, blah, 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 blah. The Yale team pinpoints a specific mechanism of faulty DNA repair in tumors. So say they're saying the DNA that controls the process that keeps you healthy from this particular type of cancer is not happening. And the tumors are not being destroyed or repaired. And what the, the mechanism, they, they're trying to determine what is the mechanism as a key factor determining patient outcomes. So if they say in this faulty DNA, now is the DNA faulty or is the enzyme that supports that DNA not able to keep that DNA in its correct program? Because DNA is nothing more than a program. So if the, the molecules of of particles in these proteins are not there to support that that DNA is not that particular section of that DNA is not going to work that's what my feeling is and I'm pretty sure about that so they're looking for well let's let's take it a little deeper let me show you a couple quick things and then we're going to go into their their um, explanation all right here's what an enzyme is it's a biological that means it's created by life catalyst that means it does something that really speeds things up and it's almost always a protein where do proteins come from we'll find out in a minute it speeds up the rate of a specific chemical reaction in the cell the enzyme is not even destroyed during the reaction is used over and over and over again until it finishes its job however when it creates this chemical reaction speeding it up it speeds it up by millions of times per second it would it, it would take years and years and years to do this job of converting and if you didn't have these enzymes and how do the enzymes work they're proteins what is a protein it's something just like that let me show you how they're formed and who forms a protein okay you have bacteria living in you and they produce a variety of enzymes that are the enzymes these are the things we're talking about the catalyst the bacteria themselves produce these enzymes and it allows complex chemistry to occur in your body. Bacteria are actually the factories that produce these enzymes. If you don't have the enzymes, the chemistry is not going to happen. So just remember that. When the right bacteria are present in the right quantities under the right conditions, they produce enzymes much more economically than people can manufacture them. They're just looking at the the cost to make them. Well, I'm looking at if you don't have them in your body, why? If you have taken antibiotics or you have something in your food supply that is killing the bacteria that lives in your body because it has to interact with these things that are coming through your body. Antibiotics just wipe them right out. Now, they have to repopulate. Can they repopulate or some of them just go on and not coming back? Or will they come back with just enough to barely keep it going and you're just always on a pre-existing condition type of thing. This is the most important thing in your whole body is bacteria. They're the factories that produce the enzymes. Let's go look at that a little bit closer. And again, research only. All right, don't forget, these are your little bacterias. 
and they're creating enzymes. Well, enzymes are proteins. This is newly born protein. That's this guy right here. Squirting right out of here. Brrrr, and each one of these has its own specific um, magnetism. Basically, they're magnetic particles. And some of them have different centers of positive and negativity. They're called um, magnetic moments. But when they come out, and they, they, they end up going brrr, like this, and they might attach all like this, and but there's going to be literally millions and thousands and zillions of them. You see all track, and this is it comes out, and then they turn into something like this. Now, then they go roaming around the body looking for other molecules that have an attachment signature, and that'll be something like this, which will be an inv invading virus. And it'll come up to these, and there'll be thousands of them. And if this is good and strong, don't forget, it doesn't go bad. It kills everything. It comes up and goes click, click. And all of them that have that same molecular signature become denatured. They become destroyed. And that thing goes on to do some more. It, after it kills all those, they just let go of it, and it travels around and gets some more. These are all dead. Now, if you don't have that guy traveling around, you're in trouble. And the only way you can have that is to have this specific bacteria. You don't have that bacteria, that squirt's not coming out, that squirt doesn't come out, you don't get this thing, this thing doesn't go out, you don't get out and go to kill things. And you're, you're going to be injured. You're going to have some kind of a continuously invasive, back, you know, an infection. These are supposed to stop things from hurting you. Or break down products so you can eat stuff and get the nutrition out of them. Both ways, you're in trouble if you don't have that bacteria. So if we do a full body bacterial analysis, then we can see, see if we can focus in on certain bacteria cause certain, certain conditions. Because they have started to do that. And I have a very close associate over in um, Ireland, Marguerite O'Reilly, who is is really pioneering a lot of this research because she has an autistic son and he's he's had some pretty good success by working around this situation where he's getting introduced with some bacteria and it seems to be helping that's all i'm not i'm just saying this is research is you know that's that's a possibility maybe it is maybe it isn't i don't know but uh, she's, she's pretty psyched about it, and she's got actually government support, it sounds like right now. And they're going to be stuck, because she's been working on it several years, introducing this to the government officials, to the healthcare system over there. And apparently they have um, they've accepted her, her plan. And um, apparently they're going to set her up with offices and all kinds of stuff. It's, this is what I'm hearing. And again, this is research, that's all I'm talking about. But bacteria is the producer of the enzymes. The enzymes are the proteins. The proteins go out and attack or break down foods and protect you. And they live in that interstitium layer, which is directly below the membrane. So if anything penetrates the membrane, immediately it should be destroyed. If it isn't, you're invaded. And if you don't have the stuff in your lymph nodes to take out the trash... Then you get lymph cancer. That's bad because you, everything gets toxified. And, and you get it. Anyway, all of this bacteria needs to be studied in a full body bacterial analysis. And anybody that's sick or not even sick, just, just find out what you got in you. And then when you do get sick, find out did something go away. This is the kind of research needs to be done. Okay, here's why I'm asking for a full body bacterial analysis. They're saying that an analogy to this problem with repairing these DNA sequences, it's like an analogy would be a dysfunctional toy factory. It can be broken in two different ways. Maybe the factory makes broken toys just because they're not doing a good job and they don't work. Or the factory has no personnel, which is bacteria, and stops producing toys altogether. The first one would be where they didn't have enough workers, and so a lot of the toys would go by broken, and they couldn't fix them. 
The second one is they had nobody to fix them, and they, all of them were, no, none of them were fixed. So either way, the kids are not going to be happy. They're going to be sick. It says, however, the researchers found that tumors with defective DNA, so they still have some of them working, could repair proteins, had significantly better responses to immunotherapy than those in which the production of DNA repair proteins had been silenced altogether. That means they have no bacteria whatsoever to create those little proteins. Pro I showed you what the proteins are. Those are enzymes. I showed you that the bacteria create the enzymes, which are the proteins, which are the catalysts, which do the work. They do the chemistry. There's nothing else that happens in your body that is really of chemical importance that doesn't involve proteins and, and enzymes. So it says when it comes to immunotherapy, it seems that the journey, in this case, the underlying cause of mismatch repair deficiency, may be just as important as the destination. The mismatch the underlying cause, which means, is there any bacteria there? I think they understand what they, but they need to do this clinical trial. If they're going to really want to do a clinical trial, they have to get a full DNA analysis. I mean, a full bacterial analysis. And then we can see if any patterning shows up. That's what research is about.